I'm just going to go over a few important features in WordPress.com for this video. So remember, if you have any questions, to feel free to ask me in the discussion forum, and uh, I'll be happy to try to help you get your blog set up correctly. So this is what a finished blog looks like. Yours may not be in this pattern, but let's just take a look at a couple of the features. You'll notice that there's a dark gray bar at the top of your browser screen and over on the right uh, under your name you'll have a menu that shows all your blogs you'll probably only have one and also shows links that access your account in case you need to make any changes then over on the left side of the gray bar you have a menu that will take you to the dashboard where you can make all the changes you need to make to your site and you can also um, begin to create a new post from this menu. So when you're in the dashboard, feel free to go through all the settings and just take a look at what's there, but let's just look at what's important right now. I think you should go to the Users, and this is where you'll add everybody who's in your group. Um, whoever is the person that created this blog, you'll be listed as the administrator. But when you go to the users, it will allow you to invite more users to your blog, and you do that by using their email addresses. And they must already have a WordPress account um, in order to be invited. And then you choose a role for them, and I would recommend that you choose contributor for all of them. You, of course, could make everybody in your group an administrator. Uh, that could be dangerous if, you know, somebody accidentally deletes posts or makes changes to the design of the site. Um, but if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. You decide. But at least everybody should be made a contributor. And then you send the invitation to them and wait for them to respond. And then when they do respond, then you'll all be listed on your users page. And that's how you'll know that everybody has accepted. The next most important setting will be Appearance, because you'll want to decide what your blog looks like. And so when you click on Appearance, it automatically takes you to the Themes page, where at the top you can see what your current theme is. Mine is something called Chaco, and um, it's I've chosen the, the brown and orange coloring. And you see not only what your current theme is, but what the features are of that theme. And then it lists um, a variety of themes down below. Be careful, some of them are called premium and they cost money and you wouldn't want to choose those. But you just go through the, the list and you can, this is a random list. They also have an alphabetical list um, or you can choose to search by a particular filter like how many columns the theme has. And then you'll notice that under the picture and name of each theme there is a um, preview link that lets you preview what your blog would look like in that particular format. So I'm previewing one here right now and if I don't like it I can just X that out and go through the list and um, find another one that I might want to preview. Um, there's one and I click on preview and it takes the content from my blog and shows me what it would look like in that theme. I don't like that. So I'm going to X that out. Then take a look at Vertigo. That's odd. And I'm going to X that out and Look further down the list, and here's one called Bueno, and I'll preview that. That's kind of interesting, and so that if I like that, instead of Xing out the preview, on the right hand side, there's a link to activate this theme. And so if I click that, as I just did, that automatically changes the theme of my blog. Something good to keep in mind. Um, you can change the 
theme of your blog at any time. So even after you've chosen one and started to make posts on it, uh, if you're not happy with the features or the way it looks, you can always go back into the themes and pick a different one.